I'm from Black Forest. We've lived there for eight years. Uh, we live right off of Hodgen and Winchester. Um, watched the fire start uh, with flames when we were in the springs. Um, passed a roadblock to get to my daughter, who was alone. Uh, went to work the next day, and my daughter called me about 12.30, said, Mom, you better come home. So when I got home, um, about 20 minutes later, we got a mandatory evacuation. From that, um, it was a panic mode. Uh, we had packed a lot of the expensive paintings, the photographs, the stuff that was really important. But then you look at your house and say, what do I need? Mm. Ooh, get emotional here. And then you say, hmm, okay, what will I never be able to replace? So we packed the truck up, got the dogs in the car, lost my cat, and my husband, um, who is here now, says, just one more, one more throw. One, and he comes in and he keeps bringing out little tiny items. And we're in the car and we're seeing, seeing the smoke and, and, and the flames, and I went, sweetheart, we can't take them. So I just came from his Harley and I was rearranging the Harley and he's got knickknacks that he had stuffed in a helmet. And, and I thought, oh my gosh. And so he's staying here because he works, and I, I work in the Springs, but it's closer to home. Just in case, whenever the fires ends or they say we can go in, he'd be the first to go in. He was there uh, night before last, and um, he, no, actually, yes, last night. And he went back home one more time. What's, Looking, your, what's your house like? The house is okay. The, uh, we off of, um, Winchester and Aspen Hills is where we leave. And as he was going towards Aspen Hills uh, south on Winchester to go to Hodgen, flames had jumped across the road. And he said that's when it got scared. Mm -hmm. And that's when he saw the flames on Hodgen. And he said he just hightailed it out of there. So we're safe. We know that three of his uh, co-workers have lost their homes on Herring. Uh, and one deeper in there, but you know what? We're safe. That's what's most important. How terrifying is something like this? Oh my God, I could cry. Just seeing it and, and you know, seeing neighbors help each other and knowing that I'll never see it again, maybe, or, oh my God, where's your dog? Where's your cat? You know, and people hugging each other and you don't even know these people. And they're just coming together and, and my husband's on his motorcycle and, and they kind of gave him a road because he's on the motorcycle, because RVs are going, people are speeding and nowhere to go. Uh, and, and it's horrifying knowing when you look back and you see everybody else in the same predicament. And I have this philosophy, we have no control over this. So as long as we're safe and we know that the people that we know personally are safe, that's the most important thing. Other than that, we have no control and only God does right now. I talked to another lady and asked her about when she was frustrated that it took so long to get so much effort in the area and get stuff going. What are your thoughts and feelings about that? There's fires all over Colorado right now, you know, and, and what's most important? Well, they were watching it, you know, and they, and they did get the, the, the fire crews out there. How they, they couldn't get the retardant out because I know they, they had to test the soil. I was talking to my son who's in the Army. They had to test the soil, but where do you go? What's priority? And then all of a sudden when it started burning these homes spontaneously, they were on it. I, and I kudos to these people. I don't give negativity to anybody that who's put themselves in arms away. I just, it's just not fair to them. These are their homes too. Mm -hmm. You know, I know it's emotional. It's okay. It, this is the, the fire captain. It's his home. Is it on fire? He can't see it because he needs to help other people. And that's what it's all about. It really is. Oh gosh. <laughs> but you know, um, we'll get through this. We got through the wall of the canyon fire. We're going to get through this. People are outpouring all over. We've got relatives in New York who are sending things to this Red Cross Center wow. because we are here. So it's a community that is phenomenal. But you know, firefighters are losing the homes too. And that's what people, police officers, they're losing their homes too. And that's what people need to remember. Don't, don't despair on people that help you. That's just not fair.